boys and girls, it's lovely to see you all. I hope you've had a really well and had a really good Christmas. And although we can't be together right now, we can still carry on with our fabulous phonics. For our phonics session today, you will need three things. You'll need a pen, some paper, and of course your brain. If you haven't got those things with you right now, pause the video, go find your pen and paper, and then press play again. We're gonna wake up our brains by thinking about the g, which can be a j sound, and the k, which can be a s sound. Now we know the g makes a k, the g makes a j sound, and the k makes a s sound, if it's followed by an e, an i, or a y. Let me write that a little bit bigger so you can see it. E, I, Y are our three key letters. If the sound is followed by one of these letters, we know we write it as a G and we write it as a K, even though it sounds like a J and a S. Like in my word, J, M's, gems. It's not G, 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 M's. We know because the G is followed by an S, the G is followed by an E. We write it as a G, even though it's still making a J sound. Let's wake up our brains and see if you can write one of our words. Could you write the word giant? Have a go, get your pen and paper and see if you can write the word giant. Sound it out, J. I. Oh, I know there's an I, and if the J is followed by an I, I write it as a G. J I. There it is on my board. Have a look at yours and see if yours is the same as mine. Does your G go down into the soil, and does your T go up into the sky? It's a long legged letter. Could you have a go at writing the word space? Now this is a sound, but I know space has a split digraph in it. So I know the last letter is going to be sp a. I know there's a split digraph there. So I can't write it as a s. I'm going to have to write it as a k. Have a go, space. Does yours look like mine? Sp Oh, it goes down into the soil. It's another long legged letter. Sp A. There's my split digraph. So the A is coming after the C. So I know I can't write it as a S. I have to write it as a K. Space. Perfect. There's so many words like this, but if you remember E I Y, you'll be able to spell them correctly. Okay, put your pens and paper down for a little minute because we're now going to think about the or sound. How do we write or? We know a few different ways, don't we? Or, tell somebody at home how I would write or. Have you remembered them all? I've got or, or, shut the door. Let me put it up here so we can see it. I've got or, or, yawn at dawn. I've got or, or, launch the astronaut. Are there any other ways? Can you remember them? We've got or, which is a little bit like or, or, shut the door, but it's got our double, double um, O making the or sound. We've also got or, or, shut the door, don't stop there, add a, eh, well remembered, or, we have five different ways of making the or sound, but today we're going to learn another way, another way of writing or, we write it as a, ah, simply an ah can make an ah, or an A sound, but it can also make an OR sound. And it makes an OR sound if it's followed by an UL. OR followed by an UL. Like in this word up here. W OR K WALK. 
book has an ul in it. So I know I can't write it as any of these other ways. I know I have to write it as an a, ah, because straight after the a ah is my ul. Walk. What about this word? I want to write the word ball. The all. Oh, I can hear an ul. The all. If I can hear a ul straight after the or sound, I have to write it as an a. Ah. The all. If that ul sound is at the end of a word, how many ul letters, how many l letters do I write? Well done, I put two. I can't ever leave a word with just one L at the end. It always comes as two. Ball. What about if I wanted to write the word small? Mm. All. Oh, I can hear a all sound at the end. Small, and I know I can't just leave it as one all. I have to put it as two. Mm. All. I can hear that all sound, so I know my or is written as an a. Ah. Small. Pick up your pen and paper again. Let's have a go at writing some words. Could you have a go at writing the word ball? Ball. I went to see the water fall. Waterfall. When you're done, show somebody at home and they'll check it for you. Ball. Oh, oh, I can hear my ul sound at the end and I can't just leave it as one ul. If it's at the end, it has to be a double, it has to come as two. All. Oh, and if it's followed by an ul, I know I write my or oh sound as an ah. Could you have a go at writing the word? Chalk. Chalk. The children really like playing with chalk. When you're done, show somebody at home again and they'll check it for you. Chalk. I'm going to put it on my board. A cha cha cha. Oh, look, there's the long legged letter. Cha. Ork. Now, chalk. It's followed by an ul again, ch, ork. So I know I have to write it as an a, ah. chalk. We're going to do one more. Could you do the word all together? It's a tricky one, it's very long, sound it out. All together. We are all together at home. All together. When you're done, show somebody at home, or you might need to pause the video for that long word. And then I'm going to write it on my board. All. There's my ul sound. So I know I have to write my or sound as an a. Ah. All. Two. We know how to do that tricky word. Two. All. Two. G. F. All together. Uh, which type of er uh comes at the end of a word? That's right, er, uh, er, uh, better letter. All together. Fabulous. If you're running out of room of your if you're running out of room on your paper, you might need to turn over because we're going to do a sentence. The sentence is Father Christmas gave me a small ball. Father Christmas gave me a small ball. You might want to pause the video now so you've got time to do your writing and then press play again and I'll write it on my board. Father Christmas gave me a small ball. Good stuff with the writing. I'm going to put it on my board. I'm starting with a capital letter because it's the start of the sentence, but it's also a name. So I'm going to have to start both words, Father and Christmas, with a capital letter. Did you start Christmas with a capital letter as well? 
Christ Christmas. Father Christmas gave. It's got a split diagraph in it. Yeah. A and back to the v in the middle. Father Christmas gave me a. I'm leaving really lovely finger spaces between my words. Father Christmas gave me a small. Mm, all. Oh, I can hear a l at the end, so I know I need to do a double. I never leave it as a one l if it's at the end. S mm, all. It's our new learning. I need my a ah making the or sound. Father Christmas gave me a small ball. B all ball. And again, the a ah is making the or sound. What do I need at the end of a sentence? Tell somebody at home. I could use a full stop, but I could also use an exclamation mark. I've added emotion to my sentence. Let's finish by looking at some tricky words. Could you write the tricky word children? Children are so good at their phonics. Children. Have a go. If you can spell child, then you can spell children. Child, ch, i, o, d, child. If you can spell child, you can spell children. We add our r n children to the end. If you can spell child, you can spell children. Can you have a go at writing the word wild? The weather was wild outside. Wild. Wild. W I O D. Wild. Thank you so much for joining our phonics session today, boys and girls. You have been fab you less. Well done. And I hope to see you again soon. Take care. Bye.